Okay, this tutorial is going to be a little bit different than most of my tutorials. Uh, this one's going to be on LibreOffice. I don't think I've ever done a tutorial on Office software before. I don't use it too much myself. Um, but with the uh, Christmas season coming up, I guess the Christmas season is here, uh, a lot of people are going to be wanting to send out letters, and they may have uh, an address list in some sort of spreadsheet that they may want to be able to print to uh, labels. So here I just made a quick little spreadsheet, made up some names and addresses. First things first, obviously save this. I save this uh, and before we continue, we're gonna have to convert this into a database. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click here and we're gonna insert a row. And um, you can label these probably best because uh, in the database, this top row is gonna be what each column is. So we got name, address, and we'll just say city and zip here. Really, it's city, state, and zip, but it doesn't really matter. That's just for your reference. Uh, once again, save that. Then click File, New, and Database. Then we're going to choose Connect to an Existing Database, and we're going to choose Spreadsheet. Click Next, and then we got to choose our spreadsheet. So come in here and go to wherever you have your spreadsheet that you just created saved. <coughs> Mine's an ODS format, but um, Excel spreadsheet should work the same. Uh, click Next. Uh, all that should be good. We're going to open the database for editing. Finish is going to ask where you want to save this database, so just save it somewhere. Addresses. Okay. So at this point, we're going to click on the sheet here. This is the sheet we just uh, created in the spreadsheet, but now it's in a database format. You can see that first line is now the column names. And we can go File, New, and down to Labels. At this point, we're going to choose our database here, which we named Addresses. Choose the table, which would be sheet one. It's our only table. And then here we're going to add the fields we want. Now, how we're going to set them up over here is going to be uh, how they're going to show up on the labels. So I'm just going to click name, add name, address, city and zip. And then uh, I'm going to space these out as they would be. Uh, name on the first line, address on the second line, and city and zip on the third line there. Uh, next, we're going to choose what type of labels you have. So uh, I'm going to choose Avery letter size, because that's the size of our paper. Avery is the brand. And then down here, uh, choose whatever is the, uh, the, the paper, it should say on the package, uh, what type of labels they are. Just choose whichever one you have and then click New Document. So now we get this. This is the output of what it's going to look like. Um, obviously, right now it just has fillers in there. So what we're going to do next, uh, if you hit F4, it will show you the sheet that we're using. But if we go up to Window, uh, actually, I meant Tools, and then down to Mail Merge with Wizard. And basically, I'm just going to keep clicking Next here, and eventually, we're going to get to a point where we're done, and we're going to save and start document. And it went into the background here. It's asking what we want to save our new little form as, because it basically it created a text document that's formatted to our labels. I will save that as addresses. In this case, I'm going to do an ODT, which is an open document text file. But of course, you can choose if you prefer uh, Microsoft format or other formats. But why not use open when you can use open? We'll click save there and finish here. And here we go. We have got our four names, well, in my case, four names. And it should be formatted at this point. You can uh, click your print button and it should print. Uh, obviously, you can also go to uh, print preview here and see what it's going to look like. Uh, and printer settings if you want to change. I printed it to a PDF because I'm not hooked up to my printer right now. Um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. hope it wasn't too complicated. Um, but basically, uh, if it was, just go back and review the video again. Uh, so relatively simple. only took us a few minutes. And now you have it saved in a format that you can edit later on. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.